Hello everyone. I'm so red because I've just blow dried my hair and my hair is so thick right now that it takes so long. Like I've just got so much of it. I'm still waiting for that postpartum hair loss to set in. Ugh, I'm so nervous. How far? We're about three months postpartum right now. So I feel like it could be any day. But anyways, I like appreciate how much hair I have right now but also it's so much and I'm like I should cut some layers into it to make it a bit lighter but then I'm like no because then if I have postpartum hair loss what if it gets really thin and janky like I'm just gonna put up with it okay Hamish is looking after Porter right now he's screaming in the lounge out of excitement not you know he's not sad or anything he's like playing and he's screaming he like just gets really excited so if you hear him that's what that is I have a coffee here um, I was going to film earlier, like the reason I didn't upload a video last week was because he had this like weird week, a few days where he was like waking up after every like 20 to 40 minutes nap during the day so I couldn't get anything done and overnight he was waking up every hour or two so I was just exhausted and you know I already, like my brain already just doesn't work as it is when I get like you know five hours of sleep let alone less than that so He's been sleeping pretty good the last couple of nights and I'm so excited to be filming right now and I couldn't be bothered thinking so I just opened up some of my PR mail and we've got some new like Colourpop collections and some other stuff so I thought we'd just you know chuck some makeup on and just chat because some of those look so pretty I can't wait to show you. So it's kind of like first impressions. I'm gonna use some old stuff too. Just gonna take my Exo Beauty hair clips. I'm gonna use these brown ones because they go with my dress. And I'm just gonna clip my hair out of my face. Ooh, I'm still so pink, honestly. It took so long to blow dry my hair. I'm like low-key sweaty. Look how pink I am. I should really put on like the air con, but I know it's gonna cool down soon enough. I'm going to pop on, wait, I need primer. I've already moisturized and I was about to just put on one more moisturizer. Well, more moisturizer. Don't need it. Just gonna use my banana brack because it's right here at the front of my drawer and the drawer is messy. I am planning on doing some declutters. I figured that'll be perfect to film as well because like if the baby is kind of fussing and things, I can just kind of film like a declutter in bits and like you guys wouldn't even know, you know? Like I can just edit it all together and I can just chip away at it. Whereas like a makeup look, I can't really do that, you know? But yeah, the primer drawer needs to be decluttered. It is overflowing. It's a huge mess and I can't find anything. That's why I just keep using the same primers in every video because like I can't be bothered rummaging. Just gonna gel up my brows as per. Um, so yeah, I wanna do some declutters. I want to do some shop my stashes. Um, my friend Kelly came over and helped me clean my room and wash all my brushes. So I'm like good to go for some shop my stashes. Bless her, thank you. Also wanna do my 90s look. People were requesting that when I asked on Instagram. They wanted to see me finish my decade series, which I swear I've been doing for like three years now. <laughs> Whoa. And people requested a, you know, full face of fast makeup products for like mornings, before school, moms, anyone that's just a little bit tighter on time and doesn't have the luxury of, you know, an hour or half an hour to do the makeup. Just something you can chuck on in 10 or 15 minutes or less. So yeah, get excited. I've got lots of ideas. Also, I am going to do a... Um, newborn essentials video for those of you who are asking for that too. I know that it's not like everyone's interest on this channel but I'm just going to chuck a few random lifestyle slash mum slash baby videos in here because that's kind of my life now as well you know and I figure people can just skip them if they're not interested but there's so many people that request those videos and I swear like my baby content gets more views than my makeup does which blows my mind but hey. Yeah I'm planning on that now that we're like three months postpartum like I said I know you know, what my favorite, most essential products have kind of been, the stuff that like, I feel like have really saved me and made the journey a bit easier. It's not easy. <laughs> Once again, it's like night time outside. Ugh. I hate this weather so much, like bring on summer, I'm just fiending for it. Like honestly at this point, like I just cannot wait for summer. And also the house should be done, <sighs> yay. I can't wait to do like an empty house tour on this channel like oh, it's gonna be so good I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation in 210N this is like a slightly palest shade I've got a little bit of 18 on but like stuff all so I might have to like blend this down my neck a little come on this is a brand new bottle I really like this foundation and with this I'm going to use my teardrop shaped sponge by EXO Beauty I've just wet it so it's super squishy I'm just gonna blend this out 
and honestly like when I have been using heat tools um, you know on my hair or whatever my skin goes so pink because of the heat like I just get hot and when I do my makeup after that sometimes I get so tempted to like pile on a lot more foundation and concealer and things to like conceal the redness but the best thing you can do is kind of just put on like what you would imagine is like a normal amount sorry I keep like slurring and stuff like I'm just tired <laughs> I should really start drinking that coffee next to me anyway put on like what you would imagine is like a normal amount of product and you know in time your skin's gonna kind of like reduce on the redness anyway and it'll look good oh my god there's two huge spiders in the corner of my room because <sighs> i used to do it before like clubbing and stuff like when i would be like rushing around getting ready to go clubbing and i oh my god the road back that seems like a whole different life honestly clubbing anyway um and i'd always be like real pink and then i'd like pack on my makeup and then i'd find like after like an hour my makeup looked way cakier and worse because like i'd overcompensated and it just yeah it doesn't go down well so i feel like less is more honestly go back on my channel 10 years ago and like talk to that shannon and be like hey one day you're gonna prefer less makeup I would have rolled my eyes like no I will always be a full coverage girl like, I still love full coverage but isn't that crazy like I'm so much more comfortable in my skin I used to literally like paste it on so you couldn't see like an inch of like natural skin under there like I was like no I want this to be like flat <laughs> and now I like absolutely love lighter coverages I still love me a glam makeup but I feel like even when I'm doing glam, like just layering and like building up rather than just going straight in with like full coverage stuff. I love that. And like the glow. I love glowy products. Look how pretty this foundation is. Like it just makes my skin look so healthy. And I love the color. It's a good one. I'm just, oops, I already got it on my shirt. I've got this box in front of me. I can't even like see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna like put it on my actual chest because yeah, I couldn't be bothered adding more fake tan this morning, you guys. Um, it already took me so long to get ready like I fed the baby um, and washed my hair, blow dried my hair, pumped my boobs. What else did I do? Did my emails. You know, by the time we actually started filming, no, could not be bothered fake tanning so I'm cheating. Look, just literally putting foundation all down my chest. I know I don't have to fake tan, but I just don't really have any foundations that match me when I've got like zero fake tan on. And I still do have a little bit of fake tan on right now, but you know what I mean? Why am I talking so fast? I sound like friggin' Trisha Paytas or something. Is she? She's pregnant, right? Has she had her baby yet? Like, that's mind-blowing to me. I don't know why. It just is. But good for her. Oh, that made my like, chest look so pretty too. Like, really evened it out, but it doesn't look like I've got like makeup on really. It just made my skin look so smooth. Love! This foundation is so nice. I like it. I raved about it ages ago on my channel and then I think I got distracted by NARS or something and then just forgot about it. Also still loving this. The Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Concealer. This is the shade Nougat 2.5G. So it's that golden yellow undertone. <laughs> it's raining and it's so miserable. I just want to go back to bed. Porter's still like sleeping in our room in a bassinet and he's getting to the age now where like he gets distracted by like lights and stuff. So at night we keep his room quiet with like white noise and things but with like all the lights off you know blackout and everything because if we put on the TV he gets so distracted by like the lights flashing around on the ceiling. So that really sucks because I love watching you know TV and movies in bed but right now we have to like watch him in the lounge but I also am not ready to move him into his own room because it's cold in there like I'd obviously get a heater but in our room like I like being in there being able to feel the temperature myself and then like know that he's comfy do you know what I mean with the heat pump and everything like I just feel better about it so I think we'll transition him into his own room when we move house at the end of this year unless of course he outgrows the best in it by then or starts like setting up and everything which he very well well it might but also it'll be warmer by then so like it'll be fine in his own room by then do you know what i mean oh my god this whole mum thing is like so stressful like as soon as you feel like you've nailed one thing to do with the baby there's something else that comes along and you're like throwing off and i feel like it's going to be like that until i die like i just feel like there's always going to be curveballs for the rest of my life is that how it is guys? I don't know. But yeah, that's his latest one. He's getting fussier when he sleeps. 
like or when he's falling asleep like at one point last night um it's like he's finally learnt about almost like toys like he's like more interested in toys and last night when i put him down i put him down drowsy so that he can like fall asleep on his own it usually goes well last night he just stared at our like camera like you know the camera on the bassinet to watch him and he's just smiling at it because he thought it was funny and then he just woke himself out because up ah, because he was just laughing and he's like ha, ha, look at that camera anyway i'm babbling i'm so sorry it's like i haven't caught up with my friends for ages because i've literally just like been you know with the baby for the past couple weeks and haven't been able to film and now i'm like blah, blah, blah. this is what it's like when i catch up with my friends in real life too i'm like blah, blah. i can't stop talking because i'm like oh my god social people socializing I can't think you know anyway I need to chill oh that's another video I want to do is like full face of affordable drugstore makeup and full face of high end again because I love filming those I'm going to try this again the pink one cherry blossom cake powder with this sponge I'm still testing out it's going good I'm just gonna set that concealer Look how smooth that is. Like, look at both of those sides and compare. Oh, so good. Look at my nails too. They're so grown out. There's just a million things to always do, isn't there? I really took that for granted when I didn't have a child. All right, I'm going to use a little bit of it. This fair, that's the color, tan tour. Wait, tan tour. Hmm. Oh, it's like my brain. Tan tour. I heard of beauty. I'm going to use an angled face brush bakes for beauty. I love this stuff. It's so good. And I need a little bit of contouring because oh, my face is so swollen right now. Between eating way too much food, slash not way too much, but I'm just always hungry breastfeeding. Always. Between that, between needing friggin' Botox down here, like this is so inflamed. I'm swollen. I'm just gonna buff this on. And then I'm gonna take my sponge and just bounce that out to blend it some more. Not doing a super crisp contour because I don't, I don't know, I just don't really love the look of like crisp contour anymore. Just kind of like more shaping the face with like a sh like a sheer layer of it, I don't know. Since I'm using so much Huda Beauty, I'm going to go on with the Glowish. This is the Luminous Pressed Powder in Light. I really like this. But first coffee because I keep forgetting. Do you like makeup? I got this in Japan. It's so cute. I can feel the life coming into my soul. Literally just having this on. I feel so much prettier. Not prettier, but like, you know, I feel more like myself. I feel like I've made an effort and it's a nice feeling. Like for me, self-care is also, it's not like the finished product of like looking pretty or anything. It's like putting in the effort into myself is self-care for me. Does that make sense? Just taking the time, the process, all of those types of things. So yeah, I'm just using like a nice light layer of that. Look how pale my ears are now. Whoops. It annoys me how this eye is less dark than this eye underneath. What's up with that? Bronzer. Glowish Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder in Light. Medium Face Brush Bakes for Beauty. This is one of our ancient ones. We've changed the fibers since and it's actually better now, but I'm just using this because it's the first brush I grabbed. I'm just layering this up. So there's a couple of really pretty palettes. Um, from various different collections from Colourpop, like I said in the intro, and some really pretty lip glosses. So I'm just gonna grab it all and we're gonna have a play. And I might like have to come back and do another, I don't know, another look with some of these. They've like redone their super shot highlighters and stuff too. Look at this. This is a highlight palette. Might as shell. I love the packaging. It's so cute. I love it. And look at those colours on the inside. And this really caught my attention. I thought that could look good with like the brown outfit I'm wearing today. These kind of colours. So this is the What the Shell Pressed Powder Palette. These colourful highlighters too, which I thought could be cool as like blush vibes. Got eyeliners. What does this say? In the springs? Look at this. Colours. Oh, stunning. I love me like a mustard, the kind of bronzy golden tones, like so pretty. Actually, I'm doing a sponsorship soon for a fragrance and I feel like these colors are going to be so perfect for that look. So we might just, I might film that. 
like I'll film it doing my makeup for that. And then there's this cool lip palette, which is a whole matte palette with like bright eyeshadow colors. I really need to do a declutter on my eyeshadow palettes because I guarantee you most of my eyeshadow palettes in those drawers are probably discontinued. And I feel like I just don't reach for a lot of them. But look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Might dip into a couple of those today. And then I'll show you the lip glosses when we get to that because they're so pretty. Let's start by opening up this baby. I'm so excited to try this. Packaging's clear and it's got nine shades. I'll just show you a quick close up of them. So cute. I'm gonna go in with the corner color, the like transition kind of shade. It's like a peachy neutral brown. And apparently I'm not using eye primer today, but that's fine. Not doing anything too crazy here. We're just adding something on the transition area to make everything else blend nicer. I'm gonna add a little bit of color, but yeah, kind of like red burgundy vibes, I think, are what we're going with today. So I haven't done that in so long. Do you remember when that was like all the rage on YouTube and there was like the Jaclyn Hill palette and stuff and they were all like red tones and like Urban Decay brought out a palette that was like red, like a naked palette that was like red. Oh my gosh, those were the days. What are the eyeshadow trends now? I feel like there's like no like solid trend happening right now other than like natural kind of vibe. I'm officially 30. Everyone says the 30s are the best years of your life, but like my 20s were spectacular. Spectacular. But I guess I've got a baby now, so I've got so much to, you know, like I've always said for me, like having a baby, like why do I want a child for me like it's the selfish but i just cannot wait to see him like grow up and show him things and help him experience things and i feel like that makes my life better i'm a big person that i like to give people experiences and like be with people to experience things like that it brings me so much joy and i'm so yeah i think i've got a lot to look forward to in the next 10 years i'm gonna have a 10 year old in 10 years what the fuck no <sighs> I literally have been on YouTube my entire 20s. Like heaps of you guys have literally seen me be a teenager and then be a 30 year old. Anyway, you can tell I'm tired, right? What is wrong with me? Anyway, yeah, I feel like a lot of these colors are so shimmery. So let's see what this color looks like in the middle when you like swirl it. Maybe that'll look cute like in the middle. I'm just gonna like smack someone. This is a bad idea. I mean, I'm, I don't know what's happening. Literally just the theme of my channel lately is chaotic, just, Anywho, okay, we're gonna go in with some mattes because I need some mattes. I'm gonna first take my firm blender brush that I was just using and I'm gonna take the shade Vibing because it literally just looks like my dream color. And this looks very pigmented. Ooh. And I think. That's so intense. I'm gonna put that all in the crease. Ooh, I love the color though. Look, it's actually blending out pretty easily. That scared me for a second. I'm gonna stop talking so much now. We're just gonna whip through this. Why is this so pretty though? Like even just with that little bit of shimmer on the lid, like, I don't know, I'm kind of like obsessed. But we're gonna do more. We'll do it a little bit more dramatic and exciting today. I don't wanna be too lazy, you know? Sometimes simple is better, but you know, you're here for some entertainment, so I guess, I don't know. Ooh, that color, so pretty. I could literally just whip that all over my lid and blend it out and that would be like a gorgeous, simple look. You know, one color look, love it. I'm just gonna like blend off the color onto a towel so I can reuse this brush. I'm gonna take the color above it, this like, I don't know. Actually, no. We need to do more burgundy-ish. Let's do cola. This color right here, it's like a pink. And we're just gonna run a little bit of this. Kind of over the top and blending out the top just to change the undertone a little bit. Cause I wanna bring more burgundy into this. And then I'm going to take, let's just go straight with the darkest like burgundy kind of vibe. This one right here, it's called Simple Syrup that on the outer V my gosh my stomach's rumbling I forgot to eat this morning well not forgot I just didn't because like I said I was rushing everything anyway why am I babbling again hopefully you can't hear my stomach rumble oh my god do you know what I had for dinner last night KFC and I got the hot and spicy chicken listen to me babbling but honest I just had to tell you the hot and spicy chicken is so good 
and Hamish gave me his piece. We got a two pack and I ate mine so fast because I was so like in love with it. Oh my god, it tastes so good. And then Hamish was like, this is too spicy for me and I was like, <laughs> I'll eat it. <laughs> this is what dreams are made of, you know. It made me very happy, I'm not gonna lie. So if you haven't tried it and you like spicy chicken, oh my god, it's so good. Every time I went to KFC to try and buy it, they were like, oh, we don't have any today. Happened like three times. I was like, well, I guess I'll just fucking drive myself out of here then. Like, all good. I wish they had like a sign up that was like, we're out of stock of so-and-so. Do you know how frustrating it is too when you go to KFC and they're like, we're out of the chicken. You're like, you literally only sell chicken. Like one time, it was when I was still pregnant and I felt like, I think it was like I wanted a Zinger burger or something. I can't remember. It was ages ago, but... We were in Papamoy and we went in to try and get a Zinger burger and they were like, oh, we're out of all the burger stuff. And we were like, okay, can we just get chicken there? And they're like, no, we're out of chicken. We were like, okay. All they had was the wraps. That's it. Just wraps. And like the sliders. I was like, so confused. Like, why are you open? How do you fuck that up too? Anyway, moving on. Sorry, babbling again. I adore how these colors are coming together. Sorry about the focus. I don't know why it's doing this. Apparently my camera just doesn't focus anymore. There we go. So I'm kind of just doing this like out of these situation and a little bit on the lower lashes. Now going into this palette again, I'm going to take this bottom burgundy shade. It's got like a gold shimmer and I'm going to kind of like pit over that area as well over the edge. And then I'm going to go back in with that colour that we used from the middle. It's almost like a cream. Like, you know how Colourpop has those random, it's like a super shock formula. I don't know, it always throws me off. But I'm going to use a brush this time and kind of like put that over that edge. I'm going back in with that vibing colour and just like building it up a little. Because I just love it so much. I feel like I lost a little bit of the intensity probably because I'm not using an eye primer. And then I'm also going to take that colour under the like beginning of the lower lashes. I'm obsessed with it, I love that color. This blending is like all over the place, like it's very smudgy and not perfect, but I kind of like how it looks with this look for some reason, so I'm rolling with it. On the inner corner, I think I'm gonna try this color. It kind of reminds me of Pinch from my little liquid eye halos that I've done with Exo Beauty. Like it's that kind of peachy, golden kind of vibe. I'm just gonna pop that on my inner corner, that's so pretty. In fact, I might actually use my eye halo on top. It's actually sold out right now, but we've got more, you know, being manufactured at the moment. So if you've missed out, they will be back. Oh my God, that's so pretty. Look at that, I've got some fallout, ignore that, but I might just pop that on my brow bone too. Is that weird? I feel like it's a little bit weird on the brow bone. I don't know what's happened to my camera, but I cannot like manually focus, like, kind of working but I just like turned my camera off and on a couple times to see if it would help. If it's not one thing it's another. That's all I've learned in life. So I'm just going to take a little bit of pinch. Do you see how I mean it's like a similar color? I mean we're already like super intense on the unicorn. I just want it to be like even more okay. Just make it look a little bit more like wet and Let's just add a little bit over that middle bit, why not? So I'm just gonna like kind of plop it on and then I'll use my little brush to tip it up. So literally just patting, patting motion, patting motion, voila. Oh, that's so pretty. We're gonna go burgundy on the waterline. So, you know, something I don't normally do. This is Joyride by Colourpop. Haven't used this particular one. Hopefully it works well. It took a second to warm up, but you know, now it's going on nicely, so that's good. And I feel like that color makes my eye color pop a bit too, which is nice. I feel like this eye look is quite glam. We're not gonna focus, are we? Once again, I literally had to turn my camera off to like be able to focus my camera just being like, even manually, I couldn't focus it. Let's do mm, a little bit of brows maybe. Gimme brow, this, I've got hair on me. This is shade 3.5, which I think is a little bit warmer, which is nice with my current hair kind of color. So I'm just kind of brushing that through the mid to ends first, and then I bring it to the front. Just because if I go straight into the front, sometimes I get too much product on the brush. Pretty. Remember when this was all I used? Like I still love it. It's just that I started trying out new things. But look at that. It's so pretty. I love the little brush. 
and I'm just gonna kind of do that for my brows today. I'm not gonna use anything to make them look too done. Like I just want them to look a little bit messy still because I feel like it suits the vibe of the blending on the eyeshadow that we did today. And I'm not gonna do any eyeliner on the top lashes. I'm just gonna go in with some mascara. So this is the Wink Ink by Mecca. Okay, no, it's dried out. I love this though. I would repurchase this in a heartbeat. I think it is so good. So if you're wondering, I love it. Time for a new mascara. I actually bought a new mascara from Nabla off Beauty Bay, which I'm so excited for it to arrive. I just searched, like filtered, I guess, search results on Beauty Bay by like five star mascaras. And then I looked for the ones that had the most five star reviews and it was this like um, Nabla one which sounded amazing the packaging so cool it's so expensive though it was like 40 something dollars i think i don't know if that's new zealand dollars or not i can't remember but i'll let you guys know what i think of it we'll try it together in a video when it comes did i even say what this was this is the anastasia beverly hills lash brag which i really like too is this focusing with me now honestly i don't know what's going on i really would rather not have to buy a new camera right now because every single penny to my name is going into building our dream house right now and I feel like I just bought this camera. Swear stuff lasts like less and less time these days. I don't know. And I'm definitely wearing falsies today because I love falsies. But this looks pretty without too if you are so inclined. Adding extra mascara to my lower lashes because I want them to be a little bit thick and like clumpy almost. I just think it'll add to the look. I would get mascara smudged on my face. Why not? All right, we've got new lashes, XO Beauty, once again. This is a new style. These are called the Wonderlust 2.0. So here's people love our Wonderlust lashes. These are the 2.0. They're very similar, but a little bit more crisscrossy. So I'll just show you what they look like on today. They're stunning, needless to say. Here's a little close up. Oh, they're so wispy and stunning. Like they just look chef's kiss. I'll pop them on. So. Hopefully this focuses. Here is the before of my natural lashes. And after, here's how they look. I'm so obsessed with them. They're so easy to apply to. They've got that really nice, thin, flexible, like, lash band. They're so wispy and so perfect. Like, I feel like they're the perfect lash for this look, too. Like, a little bit crisscrossy, kind of natural vibe. They're stunning. You can also, like, put a little bit of mascara on them if you want to make them look a little bit thicker. I'll show you. Just like all of the other, like, little single lashes we offer. I don't know, I just love them. Sometimes I get so caught up in like the faux mink looking ones and the stacked lashes and everything and I forget how much I love just the normal like range of lashes we have that like a little bit more natural vibes. It's so pretty. I'm gonna try one of these, which I'm nervous about. This could go really, really badly with this color up here. I just thought on the cheeks maybe. It's actually a highlighter. It's called Layin' Out. It's the Shell Yeah. Super Shock Highlighter Palette by Colourpop. Let's give it a go. So I'm just going to use this medium face brush on that. And I guess I'll kind of roughly put it on my cheekbones since it is a highlighter. But I'm just hoping it'll kind of give me a blush as well. Yeah, it is. But we need more. Do you see what I mean? Like it gives a soft flush of colour and a whole lot of highlight. This palette would be stunning on deeper skin too. You could apply it way more intense than I am. So I'm just trying to do a sheer layer so I don't end up looking too shimmery, you know? And I do want to take the other one, which is called Might As Shell. And I'm going to use maybe this one. Way more intense. This is a small face brush. I'm actually going to mix the top two shades. I'm just applying that to my cheekbones. To my nose a little. Look at this wrinkle. No! I'm going to add some of this blush by Colourpop. I'm just kind of keeping all the brands in sync right now. I've got a hair on my lash. What the hell? I'm trying to use lots of Colourpop today. This is the Forever Yours Press Powder Blush. Just want a bit more of a pop. It's so pretty. I'm going to go in with Birdie Lip Pencil by Colourpop. I love this colour. It's like the prettiest like pastel pink. Now I've got this In The Nude set from Colourpop that just arrived. These are the lippy sticks. So it's a whole vault. So cool. I'll list this down below for you too. I'm going to take a pinkier colour. This is Sure Thing. It's like a pinky nude. Just applying a little bit of that. So pretty. These were one of the first products I tried from Colourpop back in the day. I'm sure I introduced so many people to the brand through these. 
I think I did like a whole lip swatch video as well. I had so many of them. I had bought so many. And I don't know if any of you guys remember, but I actually was one of the first people to do a collaboration with Colourpop. I had my own set of Super Shock eyeshadows back in the day. So there you go. It's actually crazy to think back at all of those things I've done in the, you know, well, over the years, I should say. I don't know. I've achieved so much thanks to you guys. It's crazy. So thank you, <laughs> as always. We've got these lip glosses by Colourpop. They're so glossy. This is the Sunshine Required. It's gold reflect. These remind me of my lip veils from XO Beauty that I've done. So I feel like I'm going to be obsessed with these. This one is my goodies, which is like more of a pinky kind of reflect. Do you see? Yeah, you can see. I think I'll do the pinkier one. The packaging's so cute. These are my lip veils I'm talking about. They're like super shimmery and give you that like wet look with lots of shimmer. Like they're almost like a highlighter for your lips. So I'm assuming this is going to be a similar vibe. Let's see. Yes, similar vibe. So of course I love it. That's so pretty. I'm just putting it in the center. Oh my gosh. I have this set from Colourpop. Do you guys want a lip swatch video? They're like... I don't know, Disney princess inspired lipsticks and they're so cute with the packaging. Um, let me know if you want me to lip swatch all of these because the colours look so pretty. I just don't know if you guys are interested in that or not because it's kind of just like a random collection, you know, but let me know. I know some people love um, watching lip swatches, that's all. So that is the finished look today. Burgundy, red vibes, pink cheeks, pink lips and I love it. I'm just going to use a little bit of setting mist. This is the supercharged Milani facial mist, but I really like it after makeup too. I used this in a different video recently and I was so pleasantly surprised. Oh, it smells so good. It's got like ginseng and citrus. It smells kind of like Ulla Henriksen vibes, but oh, it smells so good. I just soak my skin in it and then that'll help soak up all of the excess powders on my face and just leave a really nice glowy finish eventually. I kind of put on a little bit too much, but it's fine. I really like this makeup and I hope you guys do too. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Sorry for the rambling. Talking at 100 miles an hour. Smudgy, very sexy, burgundy smoky eye vibes. With that like reflect duochrome shimmer on the inner corner and the brow bone. Like I kind of love it now. And like just the glowy skin and the fresh pink cheeks. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video.